I thought I could go on a vacation and leave behind the evil spirits I encountered while ghost hunting. I was wrong. I've had a lifelong dream of retiring to Hawaii. This was a trip to see if it was even possible. I lived there when I was a kid. This was my middle school. For my trip, I stayed here at the Outrigger on Waikiki. This was my view from the lanai or balcony. I got my first hint of trouble on the flight over. I took a shot of my legs stretched out in first class and was surprised to see that I had three feet. My iPhone has never done that before. The room was nice, but it had a lot of mirrors. Mirrors have been the source of incredible paranormal activity for me. The first night, while I was shaving, I suddenly saw distorted faces covering over my face. Then it would disappear, only to come back later in a different, grotesque shape. So I got out my camera and shot some mirrors using full-spectrum setting. It seems the spirits were very angry that I was trying to film them, and they planned to attack me when I was asleep. Spirits say this phrase a lot, especially when you are approaching mirrors or entering a room. <laughs> Try to discover what common phrases are said around you. This will help you when analyzing EVPs. It sounds like several entities are saying the same thing, each one being slightly off pitch from the other. In the Outrigger Hotel, we've heard the names Alvin and Jean. How do I know if they were already here, or did they come with me from Austin? Neither name was ever heard at the lake house or my house. They belong here. The they they're talking about refers to supervisor spirits. Seeing all refers to crowds of spirits. Every building you enter will always be filled with spirits. I know these are spirit voices and not people in the hotel around me because I've slowed the clips way down to be able to hear it. But this next one is full speed and I heard it at the time. This and what they say next happens a lot in filming mirrors.
I saw a lot of distortion in faces. This is just pareidolia, created by a very cheap camera and lens and a dirty mirror, but it is interesting. This looks like a pair of lips with white teeth. Over here looks like a pair of nostrils and perhaps eyes with glasses. But I'm down much farther below. But I saw this with my own eyes in the mirror of a well-lit bathroom. There is something evil here. There's a series of unique clock-like images that defy cinema and time logic and were unheard of in the field of paranormal photography until now. Now as I'm going to bed, I launch the sleep recorder app on my iPhone and leave it several feet away on a nightstand. It's 3 a.m. and I'm sound asleep. It sounds like I'm rustling around, but I'm not. My iPhone is several feet away from me and they seem to be messing with it.
Over the years, I've conducted many investigations, but the two that stand out are the lake house and my house. I've been attacked several times before, but I let my guard down when I went to Hawaii. Based on average occupancy rates, this room has had well over 10,000 souls in it. What a wide variety of spirits and demons that could have traveled with them and made this spot their home. Just know that no matter where you are, at home, the office, or on vacation, the rooms you occupy are filled with spirits. Some of them aren't so nice.